Today is 3rd January 2015. Okay, the procedure for neutering or spinning a cat. Now, some of these cats are quite wild, so if you bring him out and weigh him, normally you weigh the cat and take temperature. But uh, because I have experience all these wild cats, they, once you take out, you cannot, uh, they, they will just uh, bolt away and they just uh, become very angry and uh, they, they, they claw the, the bat. So the best is this is a very nice uh, carrier. So what we do is uh, we ask the owner is eating or eating, drinking like they are eating and drinking like and active. So we will we will assume that the cat is uh, is not healthy. Uh. Then the next step is of course why you didn't do you, you do? Okay, the next step is in this case since you can't weigh and take temperature, we assume it's okay. The next step is we need to estimate the weight of the cat. Uh. So just by looking actually you can estimate. It's just by looking you estimate uh, from experience. Uh. But uh, of course the best is to best is to uh, come we weigh uh, if you all put it there. We weigh the cat with the carrier, okay. According to the machine there is four kg, no uh, four kg. Okay. Then we take the uh, we take the carrier out. Uh, bring the carrier out. Then we, we minus the weight of the carrier so we know estimate the weight of the cat. According to the owner is five hundred grams, which I I don't know whether it's 500 grams mm -hmm. uh, But anyway, if it's 500 grams, then the cat will be 3.5 kg uh, Okay, because the, the anesthetic dose In this case, uh, it's not really dependent on the weight because you are using isoflurane gas When we use isoflurane gas, we will put the gas into the carrier Okay, and then the cat will sleep Once the cat is sleep, sleeping, then we take the cat out and uh, neuter him and of course we put a mask on again so that the, the anesthetic is still continuing. So this is one of those cases where sometimes you have to use your common sense uh, to uh, tranquilize the cat. Now the other way of course is uh, put the cat in a carrier and then you inject him on this back side. Some of those uh, clinics where they don't have anesthetic gas so they will just put in a cage and then they tilt the cage or they carry the cage up and then uh, well, of course the cat will slide down and then the cage will have some uh, space where they have to inject the cat on the back side the, so that the cat sleeps. Uh. So there are two ways, uh, at least two ways of uh, sedating a wild cat. Uh, the third way of course the cat is uh, quiet, then they just use an IV, some, some ways are just IV and then give the injection and then the cat sleeps. So there are three ways of uh, sedating the cat. But uh, of course, it, this depends on the vet. Okay, and uh, in this case, since the owner read to us, the cat is wild, so we have to um, just. It's just not wild, it's actually a breed, but it's just that his character. Nervous, mm. huh? Yeah, he's very nervous. Very he's nervous is yeah. considered wild in the sense. He's <laughs> huh? very fast. Yeah, very he, fast. He, doesn't, uh, he doesn't let a person handle him. Uh. Uh, you cannot restrain him. You cannot, uh, you cannot, for strangers, I presume no, you cannot. Yeah, come. Yeah. So if you write down here, we have to clip the claws, uh, clip the, the, the nails, uh, clip the nails. What's paying yeah. today? Yeah, okay, so finish up. Uh, finish, uh, finish.